There he is. The guys on the next dock have, have a cast nest. I'm gonna go grab some feet. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Clams. I'm Will. I'm here in Rockaway in New York. The guy that just passed me, Vinny. You should recognize him from other videos. Uh, it's my partner over at Greenpoint Fish. And when I say partner, I mean the guy that runs everything. Um, we are heading out on Vinny's boat today and gonna, we have no real agenda, just uh, really going for anything, but there's a load of bait. There's a load of bait in the marina here, so they are uh, throwing a net on them and we're gonna live bait for some uh, Spanish mackerel, I think. All right, let's get out on the water. Yeah. That has to be a good sign. There's bait everywhere. So the, guy, the guy in the next slip had a cast net, so he let us... Uh, <laughs> he out. Put him in the live well, we're ready to go. They're blowing up all over here. I think if they're small, our, our baits might be too oh, big. Holy cow, okay. Definitely not too big, those are huge. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, we're on, we're on. <laughs> Oh, I caught him right at the boat, so he's angry. <laughs> he's so angry. Oh, there he goes. Where do you want me to flip him into? Anywhere. <laughs> oh, don't go under the boat. Well, we've been fishing for about two minutes, maybe. And we already got a bunch of bites and one blue. Well, I don't have them in the boat yet. He's, he's pissed. One fish in. Blue fish is what now? Three per person or two per person? All right, we'll look at the rules, but we're not gonna keep very many of them, so. I think it's three per person. I'll take a quick look and it is any size. So we are good. And this is a nice size actually. And Vinny's on. <laughs> oh, these are perfect size. And D hooked. <laughs> nice, nice work, Captain. Should we, should we All right, let's keep action? going. Oh, yeah. You're in. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. oh. <laughs> nice one. They're headed this way now. Oh, just kidding, they're right there. Come on. <laughs> oh, that's gonna get him. That that's gonna get him. Oh, in already. <laughs> oh. 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 No, he came off. Nope, back on. Come on. 
It's <laughs> small, small but mighty. Woo! <laughs> Uh, yeah, hang on. I want to flip this guy in. Watch your hands. This guy is not ready to come in the boat. Come on. <laughs> come on. Just to give you guys an idea of how quickly that happened. We were on our way to get gas. We haven't even gotten gas yet. And we already uh, limited out on bluefish. They are three per person. Uh, we just kept a couple. We didn't actually hit our limit, but we have more than enough. Bleeding them out, about to get them on ice. We got bait. <laughs> we got bait and now, and now we're gonna go out fishing. <laughs> All right, we're gassed up. Now we're under the Gil Hodges Bridge. Which this time of year is a lot of porgy fishing. Um, last videos I did with Vinny over here, we had a smaller boat as Whaler and we smashed porgies. Uh, actually, in this boat as well. Um, so we're gonna do a little bit of porgy fishing and then we're gonna head out, uh, out of Jamaica Bay into the Atlantic and see if we can come up. A couple of people said that Spanish mackerel were biting and that is really what we're after today. But the pressure's off. We got fish in the boat. We're definitely eating, so it's okay. So if you've ever asked the question, how many guys you can fit in a life raft? <laughs> I don't think. That can't, that can't be good. Alright, we're going to keep fishing until the tide turns and then head out and uh, look for the mackerel. But if anything exciting happens, obviously, we'll show you guys. I mean, this is exciting. More exciting than this. It has turned into just a beautiful, beautiful day. Barely any wind. Uh, we're still waiting on the tide to change, so we just slowly keep moving out, moving out. We're just doing a little more bottom fishing. A um, couple of small black sea bass, a yeah. little, I mean, little bit of porgy I bites. Vinny's always on a business call. <laughs> um, and that, is why I get to make these videos because Vinny is always on a business call. Fishing and dealing. <laughs> All right, I'll keep updating you guys, but we are headed out that way towards Breezy Point. And uh, another thing that people have been catching out there that hopefully we'll see, I don't want to jinx it, but there's been Kobe out there, so. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Big old sea robin.
The birds are going nuts. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's one guy on the jetty out there. I haven't seen him bring anything in yet. Holy cow. This is crazy. Um, I mean, the only issue is that we limited out already on bluefish. Maybe it's bass. Vinny's, oh, Vinny's on some. Let's see what he brings in. Blue. Blue. <laughs> All blue I'm sure this is crazy though. This is crazy. So we moved just to the outside of that blitz. Um, you know, we have almost our limit of blues. We don't really feel like beating them up and because they are, they go crazy. It's like fishing for mahi. They go absolutely crazy in the boat, bang themselves around. So, and Unfortunately, we both have uh, treble hooks on, so it's not really worth it to go in there, but there might be some bass mixed in, so we are uh, bottom fishing just on the outskirt of that blitz to see if we run into anything. That is crazy. It's still exploding over there. Oh, I got something on over here. <laughs> something very small. <laughs> you hold that. It's gonna be another uh, sea robin, I guarantee. Nope, small black sea bass. Little guy. All right, we're gonna keep fishing and keep moving. What do you got, Chief? <laughs> we threw threw the umbrella rig out just to see uh, if we could get past those blues, but I have a feeling it's a blue. But let's see. Is it a clump of seaweed? <laughs> the rod bent. It's nothing. It got off whatever it was. All right, back to the drawing board. So I think we hit them early, it slowed down. Still a beautiful day out. We're just uh, a bunker, right bunker right there. But Vinny's already hit the best part of the day, which is the Italian sub. <laughs> but pot of bunker right there. Oh. But yeah, we had uh, bluefish biting the tails off of the rig the umbrella rig so we took that out now we're bottom fishing again um, but it's slow we might call it in a little bit and head back in but uh, we got those blue fish so we're good to go now it's my turn best part of the day the Italian sub that might no, <laughs> no not nope. a keeper <laughs> we got we got a fluke Definitely not a keeper. And he's, no. Nope. All right, I'm gonna get that guy off. They gotta be 18 and a half inches. That guy's about six inches too short. All right, we got him back in the water. The question is, is it a keeper fluke? So Vinny, Vinny's daughter only likes fluke, so. To keep her fluke, she's getting fluke. She loves cooking with clams, though. <laughs> it's a fluke. Ah, not a keeper. Sorry, <laughs> Don't worry, Lillian. We're still out here. We'll get you a fluke. You're in luck, though. Your daddy owns a uh, seafood company where they have fluke, so. <laughs> <laughs> they stick they stick to the bottom so you think you got this massive fish and we're about 60 a little over 60 feet of water and then you get them up off the bottom and all of a sudden they lighten up and it's like ah. <laughs> but we'll keep going so we we just had something funny happen a big fish we couldn't identify it we had a free swimmer out and it, it 
took the fish and snapped the line and it wasn't a bluefish, it wasn't a shark, and we cannot figure out what it was. What do you got, a big old sea robin? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, this is very anticlimactic to what just happened and what we saw. Hopefully we can get that thing back. We got a couple more uh, peanut bunker out. We'll see. We're heading back. Kept these guys on ice overnight just to make sure they're nice and firm because this type, this time of year, they can get a little bit of mushy um, from spawning, but. Right now, I think he's, yeah, he's good. I like to start at the fin up down here. And they don't have a, a what's my word? <laughs> scales, they don't have crazy scales like other fish. So the knife can go right through them. And something that I started doing that I like to do now is go up and over this rib cage rather than drag my knife through those ribs. Keeps your knife sharper and you're gonna have to cut those out anyway. There you go. Now a lot of people look down on bluefish but if you ask me, it's beautiful meat but so this is what I'm talking about. See how the meat is separating a little bit? Now, when we caught these fish, we brought them in, iced them down, bled them. Uh, so it is something in their uh, spawning cycle that causes the meat to get a little bit mushy like that. So what we're going to make today is uh, it's a Filipino recipe and it's called adobo but normally it's made with either chicken or pork belly or pork. We're going to make it with bluefish because I think the bluefish could stand up against it. So I'm going to cut out my pin bones. And we are also going to cut out a good amount of the bloodline. And then we're going to cube this up and get it into an adobo marinade. Take just a little bit of that bloodline off. And also, I'm going to take the head and the collar off this, and we're going to save it for another recipe. I have a good idea in mind, um, but we'll do that in another video. Today, we're going to focus on the fillets and the uh, adobo recipe. I think we'll clean up one more for this recipe. I have three here. Okay, now we're gonna make our uh, marinade. So I have here uh, Hawaiian sea salt, some ground black pepper, a good amount of ground black pepper. I have here some brown sugar. Probably about a tablespoon. Two bay leaves. I have uh, rice vinegar. You could use white vinegar. And soy sauce.
And then probably about, I don't know, seven garlic cloves we're gonna put in there. And all I'm gonna do with them, um, we're not gonna chop them up or anything like that. We'll just, uh, we'll just smash them and throw them in. So yeah, probably, probably about seven. So just like that. Now mix everything up and then this is going to go into the fridge for at least two hours. All right, into the fridge. So one of the things I'm gonna make uh, to go with our bluefish adobo is a side of rice. Now normally it would just be uh, white rice, but I have black forbidden rice. So we'll do one cup and then one and three fourths water. That's the one and three fourths. Turn that up to high, we'll get it to a boil, throw the lid on and turn it down to a simmer. And that'll take about 30 minutes. Also, before that comes up to a boil, we're gonna add just a pinch of salt in there. Season the rice. Got our boil. Throw the lid on, and I'm actually gonna move it to this burner, which is on low. And that's gonna simmer for 30 minutes. And now I wanna reduce our marinade. Now normally, with adobo, you would reduce the marinade, you would put the chicken in the pan and cook it down for a couple of hours. But because our fish is gonna cook very quickly, I'm gonna reduce the marinade beforehand and then pour it over our fish and finish cooking it that way. So I'm gonna take all the fish out, put our marinade in a saucepan and reduce it by about a quarter. gonna add just a little bit of water to this so it really doesn't completely evaporate but simmers down and locks in all that wonderful flavor so we're gonna bring this up to a boil down to a simmer and let this ride for about as long as our rice cooks now I don't want to reduce this too much so we're just gonna go maybe a quarter just for a little while reduce that down put it aside and get it ready to go in the pan with our fish like I said traditional adobo you would put the chicken in with the marinade and it would cook for hours it would be stewed and this would cook down naturally so we'll lower that down to a simmer this already smells incredible with the vinegar, it smells like sweet and sour, and then all that pepper, it smells so, so good. Okay, our marinade is reduced by about half. Still pretty thin, but that's okay because we're gonna add it to the pot with the fish. So we'll put that aside. And now I've had adobo, chicken adobo with onion, and also without, um, it's one of those things, some people say it doesn't belong in there, some say that it does. We're just gonna use it almost kind of like a garnish. I'm gonna cut just rings and put it on top. I don't want them to cook down too much because I want it to stay kind of crunchy to add a texture to the dish. We're just going to separate them and keep them as rings, just like that. Our rice is finished. We're going to move that off the heat, leave it covered for at least five minutes. Now I'm going to put the heat on this pan, medium high. And one of the things that I'm going to do to our fish here, I have Wondra flour, which is just a fine all-purpose flour. but. I'm gonna put some flour on the fish 
And that way when we go to brown it, it's gonna give it a little bit of texture. And it's also that flour going to thicken up our marinade. And I don't need to season the fish at all because it was sitting in the marinade, so it's good to go. And then I have here just uh, grapeseed oil. You don't want to use olive oil, usually some kind of vegetable oil, but I do like the grapeseed. I want this just before it's smoking. A little bit of smoke is okay, actually. Now I'm going to do something that I don't normally do, which is uh, overcrowd the pan, but that's okay. because we're steaming this fish anyway with our marinade. So we're gonna tuck it all in there. <laughs> this is officially what you call overcrowding the pan. But it's okay, we just made it, that's perfect. Now I'll put my onions on top. This smells absolutely wonderful. And just to show you one piece here, off to the side, that nice brown. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, we're gonna add in our marinade. Lower that down to low heat, throw the lid on, we're going to give that about five minutes. In the meantime, we will fluff our rice, which looks great. Alright, that rice looks perfect. Been a little over five minutes, are you guys ready for this? smells and looks so good. I'm going to turn that heat off. We're gonna put just a little bit of green onion on top. There you have it. Our bluefish adobo with black forbidden rice. So it's too nice not to sit outside. It's absolutely beautiful out. Um, I needed I needed all the burners in the kitchen. That's why I had to cook in the uh, kitchen because we had a couple things going at once. But you know, I've I've never had a fish adobo, but <laughs> if there ever was one that could pass the test, I think this is it. But let's. Uh, Let's dig in here. That's so good. It's so good. The onion has a little bit of crunch to it. The rice is really nice. Um, but that marinade, that marinade thickened up just enough um, to make almost like a gravy. And especially putting in that flour into the fish and then browning everything. 
gave another level of flavor. The fish itself is cooked divinely. And for everyone that gets down on bluefish, take, take a look at this. Tell me, tell me you wouldn't want to eat that. That is perfect white meat. It's not fishy at all. I mean, granted, we put it in a marinade, but that's good. That's really good. All right. I'm going to sit and eat this. Big shout out to Vinny. Um, a lot of you guys ask if I have a restaurant, what I'm going to do for a restaurant. The answer is yes, I do have a restaurant. Vinny is my partner, and that is just an understatement saying that he's my partner. Vinny is the reason I have a restaurant. He's the reason I get to do these videos. He's the reason I get to go fishing. So just huge, huge shout out to Vinny. And the reason why he misses out on a lot of the eating is because he is at our warehouse nonstop. He has two kids and a wife, so his time is limited. One of these days I'll just cook on the boat and that way he can eat. But uh, for now, big thank you to Vinny. And for any of you that want to know, the restaurant is called Greenpoint Fish and Lobster. It's in Brooklyn, New York. If you ever want to come by, let me know. And uh, you can check us out on Instagram. But on that note, I'm going to eat this before it gets cold. Enjoy this beautiful day. And I will see you on the next one.